ปาดทางกลางหาวดาวประเด็นถาพิเรมลือซีบทจามอนแทงติดโทรจิตคำหายมีพระทายสดสอยมาลามรามแทงแสงหักยวงอายรามเป็นวิชาแม่ไม้มวยตาBoxing is the fighting art. Boxing is fighting. Thai boxing is the fighting art, which uses fist, foot, knee, and elbow. Boxing is a martial art and sport. It's either boxing by rules or free of rules, fist to fist, one on one. Boxing is the art of using the body as a weapon to defend and to fight. It's believed that every nation knows boxing, especially the men. Therefore, boxing is an international sport. But there's no boxing of any country that can bring out the best use of the body for fighting, as well as the deadly weapon from Thailand called Muay Thai. Each country has its own brand of national sport. The Muay Thai is the main sport for Thais, and we are most proud of it. It is the ultimate art of fighting, and it has been a favorite Thai sport for over 400 years. Boxing is based in art. It creates artistic fighters. Therefore, Muay Thai is the art Thai men learn by heart. And we help support its propagation for those who love Muay Thai. Man will instinctively use his fists by using fists and feet as weapons. As in Muay Thai, the fighter will improve their effectiveness. He will develop their use in fighting techniques for both attack and defense. And to win a fight. Mastery of a good defensive technique is essential.
practice begins by all-round development of the strength and staying power of the fists, feet, knees, and legs together with the coordination of eyes and body movements to ensure the full effectiveness of the fighting technique. Development of powerful and strong legs is important as most movements depend on them. They must be able to respond quickly and provide maximum spring and they must always be ready to be used against an opponent. Employing basic Muay Thai techniques to improve fighting skills is not so difficult. If used correctly, fists, feet, elbows and knees can all be used to defend and to attack. The essence of Muay Thai is its development of a fighting technique which uses the entire body, both as a means of defense and as a weapon with deadly potential. Effective use of Muay Thai can quickly cripple or even kill an opponent with the use of powerful weapons such as the elbows, fists, knees and feet. The deadly effectiveness of Muay Thai has earned it a worldwide reputation and today many people want to learn this unique art which uses the body as a weapon. Fighting without gloves, but with the knuckles lightly bandaged, Ka was a unique feature of Muay Thai, which used all parts of the body as effective weapons in a fighting technique which became, and lives on, as a truly noble art. Most Thai males are traditionally attracted to Muay Thai in the knowledge that parts of the body can be used as a means of self-defense. It is a tradition dating from the Ayutthaya period in the country's history and one which remains active today. The world of commercial boxing as it operates in these times owes a great debt to the ancestors of today's boxers for the proud heritage of this noble art they created to be passed from generation to generation. Muay Thai calls for many levels of study, research and practice. When mastery of the basics is achieved, the student can go on to develop his skills to the full extent of his potential. A higher level of skill is not difficult to attain because the main weapons employed, the feet, fists, knees and elbows, are used both for attack and defense. Muay Thai as we know it today evolved from the fighting style of Ka to which the rule known as Pratmue was applied. This early style was often exceptionally violent and matches frequently ended with the fighters bruised and bloody, especially if their levels of skill were not equal. Elbows were often used, the fists bound only with cloth, and the feet employed as a powerful weapon. Fights were tough and often brutal events. Practice, therefore, must start with the very basics. These are the use of fists, feet, knees, and elbows, referred to as Step 4, use of feet. Step 3, use of fists. Step 2, use of knees. Step 1, use of elbows. All of these steps must be followed correctly. If the opponent is at Step 4, Step 3 must be used. If the opponent is at step 2, step 1 must be used. If the steps are not followed, the defense cannot be effective. So the trainer and boxing student must practice and coordinate them well. If used at the correct step, the full potency of the fists and feet will be achieved. An accurate punch, for example, when properly delivered, can slow down an opponent. This is the art of fighting efficiently. It can be brutal, tough, and powerful. The use of other body weapons, such as the feet, must also be practiced so that it becomes almost a reflex action. Used properly, the feet can be the most effective of all the body weapons. To make the best of an opportunity when the opponent loses his balance by stumbling or by being hurt, the fighter must attack repeatedly at a time when his opponent's defenses are down. 